All we have to do is enforce the laws that are already on our books and secure our borders. Let's boil this down. Why do borders exist? Yeah. To stop this kind of crap from happening. <laughs> By the way, hit the notification bell or join Mug Club if you haven't already. Full daily show there for people who are watching on YouTube and subscriptions don't mean anything anymore. So the question of the day, where did you first hear the news that Molly Tibbetts, uh, that the killer was an illegal immigrant, and does that change the way you view the story? We'll get into some facts, statistics here in, in this segment in a little bit. But, uh, uh, on a personal level, does it change the context to a murder when it was carried out by someone who had no business being here at all? Comment. Want to hear from you. Obviously, in this uh, tragic case now, uh, they found her body, if you yeah. don't know, and an illegal immigrant was charged with her murder. But the media is furious with Trump's comments regarding uh, the bag of human scum. You heard about today with the illegal alien coming in very sadly from Mexico, and you saw what happened to that incredible, beautiful young woman. Should have never happened. Illegally in our country, we've had a huge impact, but the laws are so bad. The immigration laws are such a disgrace. I don't, that's one of those deals. How could anyone disagree with what he just said? Yeah, he said nothing inflammatory. He didn't say anything to try to rile people up. That being said, there is something sing-songy about the way he says it. We're like, is there an insult in there? <laughs> This is she was Trump a beautiful a woman. You're like, wait, is he is he insulting someone? Because we've been conditioned to think that everything he says is bad. Here's yeah. the thing: there have been many cases where illegal immigrants have killed U.S. citizens. Uh, yeah. Remember, was it Kate, Kate Steinel? Yeah, that was one. Remember, there there, there, yeah. there have been tons. We've covered them on the show. And contrary to when a white guy shoots up a public gun-free zone, the media jumps on it faster than a duck on a June bug, unless, of course, that white guy stopped by another white guy with an AR-15, Stephen yeah. Williford. Nowhere to be found Sutherland after Springs, that. by the way, one of the most deadly shootings in modern history, more so than Parkland, but nobody talked about it. Yeah. Um, every time something like this happens, the leftist media trots out articles claiming that the vast majority of illegal immigrants, they're, they're actually law-abiding. This is what we have to deal with. Uh, and you see this a lot, right? And you've actually, you've, you've covered this quite a bit. Yeah, I cover a lot of the European illegal immigration because it's obviously at a far greater rate than the American uh, levels right now, but it's it's real bad there. You're having people run yeah. down in the street constantly just in the UK. Well, it's funny it's when I say the majority of illegal immigrants are law-abiding. To those of you confused at the redundancy, seeming redundancy of <laughs> law-abiding illegal immigrants, shut up, you're racist. It's, it's, an <laughs> it's kind of this oxymoron and societal nomenclature that we accept, like, you know, like jumbo shrimp or CNN news. It, it's just one of those deals that you just go with. Uh, let's take a closer look, though, at the studies that were cited by good old Washington Post. We fact-checked them, by the way, with uh, Lee Doran not too long ago. You can go yeah. watch that video. I think it was like <laughs> 950 facts they completely lied about. Uh, Boy, that wasn't that was hilarious. So, <laughs> so one of the studies that they actually cite here, it just compares crime rates and locations with more illegal immigrants uh, with those that have less. So another study, too, that they, they cite, uh, it assumes that if illegal immigrants commit crimes at the same rate as the legal population, that there's no increase in crime. Th these are flawed studies. Well, it, this is one of the most simple logical fallacies to the point I, I even hate to point it out for fear of sounding like a first year social studies student like <laughs> correlation doesn't equal causation man. Oh, man but here it's actually true but I, I know I know and weed cures cancer we get it okay of course but it's true that's the first thing we'll throw back at you like correlation is not equal causation okay <laughs> All fine, right. We fine. get that you listen to your professor for a few minutes between weed naps. But we, we, we all know, for example, that very violent areas like, like Baltimore or Chicago is included yeah. in the state. They don't have as high of an illegal immigrant population compared to, say, Dallas, which uh, may have less crime and a higher illegal immigrant population. So that's what they're using when they're citing these studies. The question isn't whether all cities with higher illegal immigration would have higher crime rates than those that don't. The question that needs to be asked, and this is like you said, they can, t they can torture the data, and yeah. this is how you know that it, they, syst they systemically at a systemic level, they are absolutely doing that. The question is whether illegal immigration has resulted in an increase in crime in cities like Dallas. And the truth is, it's actually really easy to answer. Um, I know it seems complicated because violent crime has consistently been on a downward trend, despite what the, the conservative media tries to right. tell you, that yeah, oh, exactly. it's worse than ever, actually yeah. violent down significantly. <laughs> and with a big city, there are a lot of variables. But let me make this simple for you. Every single crime committed by an illegal immigrant is a crime that could not have happened if that illegal immigrant wasn't here illegally, <laughs> period. <laughs> that seems pretty self-explanatory to me. So if there are 100 <laughs> crimes in Dallas committed by illegal immigrants, take away the illegal immigrants, enforce the laws in the books, carry the one, that's 100 crimes less! <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy to do the math. Pretty good at math there, buddy. Good job. And I don't know why the, why does the left not admit this? What, what's, this is what was so crazy to me. What's happened to all of their rhetoric, like with anti-gun, uh, the anti-gun rhetoric? Yeah. If, it, if it would only Just save one life. one life. If there's even one step 
we can take oh, to save another child? This guy. Or another this parent? Guy. Where's the tear? Or another town? It's not true, though. From the grief that's visited Tucson and Aurora. Here we go. And Oak Creek and Newtown. But Chicago oh. every day. And communities from Columbine to Blacksburg before that. What about San Bernardino? <laughs> and surely we have an obligation to try. If our actions result in only saving one life, uh, they're worth taking. I'd gladly give this gun up if it would save the life of just one child. Huh. If only there were something we could do. If only there were something we could do. <laughs> hmm. If it would save only one life. Okay, but here's one that would save many, 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 many lives. Yeah. And you don't actually have to ban anything. You don't have to remove someone's constitutional rights. In fact, all you have to do is enforce the law. All you have to do is enforce <laughs> the law. Exactly. <laughs> Shocking. It would almost seem like a win-win. <laughs> for legal immigrants and everyone else alike. It's really, Excluding illegals. it's crazy to me to look at like the coverage of something like Charlottesville, where the left says this death is like, so obviously wrong. We're going to spend four months covering yeah. this and talking about there's no excuses, nothing. They would never bring up data like, let's look at Black Lives Matter crime versus KKK right, crime. Right. They would never bring that up in a million years. But when it comes to illegal immigration, every statistic in the book, yeah. they tried to... Well, they, no. try, they try to throw them all in the same pot. Legal immigrants yeah. and illegal right. immigrants. Yeah. My mother's like a legal the same immigrant. same people. Yeah, not. We have plenty of people. We have people who work for us who are legal immigrants. That's right. not the same at all. By the way, I do want to clarify. Charlottesville uh, running someone over with Dodge Charger. Bad. We all, everyone course, thinks everyone, so. Yes. Everyone, yes. Everyone, yes. Uh, yes. But it is, it is interesting how they, the selective <laughs> outrage. Like, no one, no one in Texas knew about the Sutherland Springs shooting. Yeah. And we, you know, we had Stephen Wilford on here who yeah. stopped the guy with the AR-15. It was more deadly than Parkland. No one in Texas, they were two hours from where it occurred, had heard about it because it got about two hours of news coverage. Yeah, because it doesn't fit the narrative. Well, he was an NRA instructor who took him out. Yeah. That's like Don Lemon's worst nightmare. <laughs> it's, like an, it's like a teleprompter for Al Sharpton. <laughs> By the way, sim similar study has been pushed as evidence uh, uh, that illegal immigrants commit less crime than the native-born population. So uh, here's something that's important. This study actually includes legal immigrants. So does anyone else see the problem <laughs> when you look at this? Is it any surprise that a legal immigrant, the kind of person willing to go through the arduous process, it is difficult, and I'll give you that. We maybe need to streamline this process. Coming here legally and being so grateful to be here that they'll be in their best behavior because they don't want to be deported, that they're less likely to commit crimes. Does anyone else see the problem with including this study to say illegal immigrants are less likely than the general population to commit crimes when you're including those people? Yeah. <laughs> Can it only, is, 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 it, is it me? It's amazing how they shift the goalposts repeatedly. They start with, these are rocket scientists and Harvard graduates right. coming over your borders. And then when that doesn't work, because people see obviously that's not the case, they're like, ooh, these are refugees. They're escaping crime. You have to save them. Right. Then when people see that's not the case, they're migrants. Yes. They're, they're coming in totally <laughs> legally. Yeah. Oh, my God. But they lump this all in together. They use this, this statistic that is being pushed. This is the one that is primarily used by news media. And by the way, just like we talked about with the wage gap, you, you don't believe yeah. that Don Lemon or Barack Obama, mm -hmm. they don't have access to Google. They don't know that it's a myth. They're lumping in illegal immigrants and legal immigrants. That's... That's why it seems confounding. It's, that's, it's like lumping legal gun owners in together with the Crips. It's just not a valid comparison. Mm. They seem incredibly surprised. They're not happy about it. By the way, legal gun owners are one of the most law-abiding demographics in the United States. Yes. Illegal gun owners, by definition, the least. <laughs> It's almost, it's almost an apples to apples comparison. Here's another truth for you. Um, there are plenty of studies which have repeatedly, by the way, debunked this idea that illegals are less likely to commit crime. So illegal Im immigrants, they actually fill prisons. I want to make sure I get this right. Uh, on average, between 3.5 to five times as many crimes as the average native. So one report, this comes from Heritage, actually found that criminal aliens make up 27% of all federal prisons. Judging by those numbers in federal prisons alone, non-citizens commit federal crimes at three times the rate of Jeez. citizens. Uh, a 2001 study that actually does take country of origin and geographic concentration into account found that Mexican immigrants, it's like, it's almost become a dirty word if you're yeah. referring to immigration, you use the word Mexican, people are like, right. I yeah. can't believe you said Mexican. Oh, it's like it's a slur now. People of Mexico. Uh, Mexico, I don't know. Uh, Mexican immigrants commit between 3.5 and 5 times as many crimes as the average native. Two, you have these countries with extremely high crime, and you take a scoop of people and throw them into your country, you're going to get a probably Higher some of that crime over. So yeah. you have to be discriminatory. Yeah, they yeah, got... absolutely do. I mean, it's, it's, this is what you're building a, at a certain point. Like, well, what about bringing us? You're tired. You're hungry. At a certain point, you do have to say, all right, all right, we're yeah. filling up here. And now we're going to have some standards as to who is allowed into this country. That's it. Yeah. That's, it's, it's really that simple. They're only about 7% of the population, by the way, illegal immigrants, uh, commit 22%. 
of the federal murder convictions, now we're just talking murder, 18% of fraud convictions, 33% uh, of money laundering convictions, 29% of drug trafficking, 72% of tr uh, convictions for drug possession. So when you read about Molly Tibbetts and you subsequently read all the leftist apology tours claiming that it's an isolated incident, just c call BS and get mad. It's not an isolated incident. It's no. not true. It's not accurate. They trot out one step that lumps everybody in together. And when you actually look, this is the beauty of the internet it, it, for all of the deplatforming that's going on, what's happening with social media, and hopefully the pendulum will swing the other way. When, when, when CNN's Anderson Cooper goes out and simply cites a study, you yeah. can look it up. It usually takes about two or three pages to see that they're lying. Yeah. That's it does, all. It, it doesn't take very long at all. And you, you should get extremely pissed off because all of this is being done for votes. This right. is not like people don't understand how to fix the problems. They're doing this to, to div divide people, to drive wedges between people, and to get your vote. That's why people are being murdered by illegal immigrants that shouldn't be in the country in the first place. Right there, votes. It's a good point. You just, yeah, I just got a chill on my spot. <laughs> Ooh. I do what I can. Really, really to boil that down, it's, it sounds positively dark. The good thing, by the way, is that unlike the left's rhetoric, if we, if, we could, if we could just save one child, which and they use that as an excuse to ban all firearms, um, and no proof that it would work, by the way. Right. In this case, we do have the moral high ground. You have the moral high ground. Anyone out there who says, all right, okay, listen, I think we need to actually take a look at our immigration laws or at least enforce them. We can say if immigration enforcement could save just one life, whose life? Molly Tibbetts. And countless other lives that make up the statistics that we've just shown you. In the case of immigration enforcement, we don't have to ban anything to save anybody. You don't have to take the 357 off of grandma's shelf to ensure that someone is safe. All we have to do is enforce the laws that are already on our books and secure our borders. Borders which, by the way, have existed since the beginning of time with every single nation at one point or another precisely to stop. Precise the, w w let me ask, okay, let's boil this down. Why do borders exist? to stop this kind of crap from happening. That's the only reason they're there. And by the way, they tend to work. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, I would say subscribe, hit the notification bell, or watch one of these videos playing in a box that we've personally uploaded and programmed for your viewing pleasure. The problem is now, in today's day and age on YouTube in 2018, any of those three things that you do, any of those three buttons that you click will take you directly to a Seth Meyers video. So stay here and join Mug, get off of here. Go to loudwithcutter.com slash mugclub. It's the only safe place you can go. Enjoy.